What quote hangs on your wall? Welcome to Gold Getting Quote of the Day. I'm Tony Woodall, your host, and I will share with you a great quote I've heard, read, or that's been shared by one of my guests on Gold Getting Podcast Weekly Show, where I ask, what quote hangs on your wall? Thanks for listening, folks, and I really appreciate it. Hello, Gold Getters. Welcome back to Gold Getting Podcast. I am glad you are here. Today, we have a great quote that I found that I really do like. It is from General Eric Shinseki. General Eric Shinseki says, If you don't like change, you will like your relevance even less. That is such a snarky-sounding comment from General Shinseki, but it's said with a large dose of truth. Let me tell you a little bit about General Shinseki. And this is from Wikipedia, and there's a link to it on our show notes page at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash QOD201. General Shinseki is a retired United States Army general who served as the 7th United States Secretary of Veterans Affairs. His final U.S. Army post was as the 34th Chief of Staff of the Army. Shinseki is a veteran of two tours of combat in the Vietnam War, in which he was awarded three Bronze Stars for Valor and two Purple Hearts. He was both the first Asian American four-star general and then the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. I have a great deal of respect for General Shinseki and for all members of the United States Armed Forces, those serving now and those who have served. I have many close friends and family members either in or out of the services. Thank you all for your service and for your families. I thank them as well. I served seven years in the Army National Guard. I served between 1976 and 1983. It was peacetime, and I had it easy. If you're not from the States, you should probably thank the military in your country as well. Now that I've said that, let's get back to the quote. Change is tough for some people. I've been in information technology for many years. I've worked in change management when we brought in new technologies to companies. People get used to doing things the way they want to do them and the way they've always done it. You know, that's one of the worst things you can say to most people in the technology field. That's the way we've always done it. General Shinseki states very truthfully, if you don't like change, you will like irrelevance even less. Now, what does he mean by this? Well, the world is changing, folks. If you don't accept change, no. If you don't embrace change, you will have to deal with irrelevance. How many of you remember Smith Corona? How many of you remember the IBM Selectric? You're thinking, what is he talking about? Well, what am I talking about? I'm talking about typewriters. How many of you have ever used a typewriter? Most of you that are younger than me, you know, in your 20s and 30s, you may not ever have even used or seen a typewriter. Many of you have... How many of you actually have one in your home? Would you believe that people used to have one or more typewriters in their home? Much like we have one or more computers in our homes these days, we used to have one or more typewriters in our home. And if you don't remember Smith Corona typewriters, well, that's probably because they don't make them anymore. One of the premier typewriter manufacturers, the company now makes labels for barcodes. They became irrelevant. They did pivot, however, and did change into a different company, which is a testament to that company. And it also remembers, reminds me, this whole subject of change and irrelevance reminds me of a site visit that I did uh, to a major mortgage lender back in the uh, 2003 time frame. We were in the process of implementing an electronic content management solution for our mortgage company. Our goal was to go paperless. So we visited this lender that had achieved the goal that we wanted to achieve. During the tour of their facilities, we were amazed that we didn't see a single filing cabinet in their office. Well, actually, we did see plenty. We were walking by one of their conference rooms, and they were all piled up on top of each other from floor to ceiling, you know, in this one conference room. But they were all empty, and they were getting ready to go to a scrap company. All of their lending employees were using electronic documents and processing and underwriting on their computer screens. Only one piece of paper was printed because the FHA required a signature of the underwriter on it. Once it was printed, the underwriter would sign it, stick it in a bin on their desk. The papers would then be picked up several times a day, scanned by their imaging department, and then shredded. When we asked them how they managed to convince their staff to get used to this, they answered, most everyone realized that it was more beneficial for the company and themselves to work this way. We did have one underwriter that couldn't change the way they did things. How did you change their mind, we asked. 
And they said, well, we didn't. They don't work here anymore. Well, you have to be able to change these days. You have to be able to pivot. This is true in business and in life. If you can't change, you will be irrelevant at some point. If you don't like change, you will like irrelevance even less. I really do appreciate you listening. That, that to me is a great quote and, you know, really a great lesson that you have to learn in life. Most of you, if you've been listening to me, I've changed many times. A lot of people, when I talk about the things that I've done in my life, they say that, well, you're a jack of all trades. I go, no, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of some because I've mastered several things and realized after a while that I'm going to have to change. And I did. I, you know, cause I used to work with typewriters and type on typewriters and that I learned in how to type in high school on a typewriter. Now I don't use typewriters, but you'd be surprised. I have used them even recently at more mortgage companies. I still unfortunately have to use typewriters periodically, but they're not in many people's homes these days, unless it's a classic typewriter that they use as a collector or just happen to find at a garage sale or an estate sale or something. And they just think it looks cool because it is. They are, they were pretty cool, but they're a pain to type on, to be honest with you, unless it was an electric one. Don't be irrelevant, folks. Go out and find something that you can change in your life and make yourself better. That's what it's all about is becoming better at what you do. I want to thank SLU 111222. That's S-L-U-E 111222 for their five-star rating and the great review they left on iTunes. Folks, I love your feedback and I really do appreciate it. In their review, they left that the title of the review was inspiring. That, that, that just is thrilling for me to see that. And I want again, SLU 111222 left this in January, a five star rating. Thank you so much. And their comment was, whether you are chasing a big dream or striving to achieve small goals, Tony is like the cool life coach you always wanted to have. He speaks with confidence, is inspiring to listen to, and his material is easy to understand. Each episode is conveniently condensed into several minutes, and Tony gets straight to the point. Since listening to Goal Getting, I've become a lot more focused on my goals and gained a clearer picture of what I need to do to achieve them. I can't wait until his podcast resumes again. Thank you again, SLU 111222, for those kind words. You know, this really makes my day when I can see this kind of comment, this kind of feedback. You can leave this. I really do appreciate it. This is a glowing review, and I love getting those. I would love to, if you don't like the podcast, please let me know. Let me know how I can fix it. And um, that's where we can work together and Maybe I can change. I do believe in change. And, you know, if you don't like it, if it's something that will benefit everybody, I'll change. I, I don't have a problem with that. Let me know your feedback, good or bad. You know, just give it to me. Thank you again. I do appreciate the kind words. This makes my day. I'm here to help you get the goals you can set. And if I can inspire you, provide you with advice, tips, and strategies to make you successful at achieving your goals, and I will have achieved one of my goals. Thank you again for joining us for Goal Getting Podcast. And I just want you to know what SLU is talking about. We've been on winter break for the last few weeks. I have decided I was going to start season two on February 25th. Coming up is February 25th in the very near future. We will start a new season of Goal Getting Podcast on February 25th. The reason I say February 25th is because that's our one year anniversary. And I do appreciate you guys staying with me. Those of you who have hung around and listened while we were on winter break, hopefully everybody else will come back. But I do appreciate you listening to us and staying around. Continue listening to us for another year, I hope. I am working to try to come up with some great ideas. I'd love your feedback and let me know what you'd like to hear. It would really help me a lot. Our first part of season one, we are going to be concentrating on health goals, wellness goals. I am working on wellness. You can go follow us on Twitter and Facebook and every other channel under the hashtag, hashtag work on wellness is what I'm using for this season to talk about wellness. I have a wellness goal. I'm trying to overcome my type 2 diabetes, get my A1C numbers down to a reasonable level under 6.0. And I also am working on a weight loss goal, you know, part of my work on wellness because I have to get down to a good weight to be able to maintain and hopefully get off all the diabetic medicine that I'm on for type 2 diabetes. If you've got a goal like that, follow me 
and let's work on this together. If you want to work on your wellness, stay with us. Give us some ideas of what you're working on. You can go to our show notes page at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash QOD201. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. And of course, you can do as SLU S L U E one 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 two 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 did on iTunes. Leave us a rating and a review. If you do a five star, that would be great if you think so. But leave me an honest rating and an honest review. Let me know your thought. Thank you. If you like the show, go tell your family, tell your friends to come listen to us at goalgettingpodcast.com. Thank you very much. Go out and make today a great day.